we want to solve the right triangle given the length of side B is eight units and the measure of angle B is 38 degrees. So if angle B is 38 degrees, side B is opposite this angle, so this would be side B. We know this length is eight units. So if this is angle A, then this would be side A. If this is angle C, this would be side C. Let's start by finding the measure of angle A. We know the sum of the interior angles of a triangle must be 180 degrees, but it's also true that the two acute angles must have a sum of 90 degrees, which means the measure of angle A must be equal to 90 degrees minus 38 degrees, which is equal to 52 degrees. Now we need to find the length of side A and the length of side C. To do this, we'll have to use a trig equation. So the first step is to decide which angle we want to use in the trig equation. Let's say that we want to use angle A. We know we also have to use the length of side B because we can only have one unknown in our equation. So if we want to use this angle and this side, let's say we want to find the length of side C. Well, B is the adjacent side to angle A, and C is the hypotenuse. And since the cosine function involves the adjacent side and the hypotenuse side of a right triangle, we know we have to use the cosine of 52 degrees in our equation. So our equation will be the cosine of 52 degrees must equal the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, or eight over C. Now to clear this fraction, we'll multiply both sides by C. This would simplify out. So we have C times cosine 52 degrees must equal eight. And then we'll divide both sides by cosine 52 degrees. So C is equal to this quotient here. So now we'll go to the calculator. One of the most important things to do is recognize that we have to have our calculator in degree mode. So I'll press the mode key. Notice how in my third row, the degree feature is highlighted, so I am in the correct mode. So I'll go back to the home screen, and now I want to find this quotient here, eight divided by cosine 52 degrees. So if we round to the nearest tenth, this would be 13.0. Now we need to find the length of side A. Now that we know the length of two sides of the right triangle, we could use the Pythagorean theorem, but I'm gonna go ahead and use another trig equation. So let's go ahead and use angle A again. We know we're gonna use side A because that's the unknown. Now we have the option of using side C, which is approximately 13.0, or side B, which you know is exactly eight units. I'm gonna use side B because I know this is the exact value if I use a rounded value of side C, there will be more of an error. Referencing angle A, notice how side A is the opposite side and side B is the adjacent side. The trig function value that uses the opposite side and adjacent side of a right triangle is tangent, which means now we'll have the equation tangent 52 degrees must equal A divided by eight. Notice in this equation, we can solve for eight in one step. We can multiply both sides of the equation by eight to determine the value of A. Notice here this simplifies out. So A is approximately equal to this product here, eight times tangent 52 degrees. So eight tangent 52 degrees. So the length of side A to the nearest tenth would be approximately 10.2 units. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.